Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today is my first Paint With Me video and we're painting backgrounds from the anime The Great Pretender. Um, it's currently being aired on Netflix, I think. So when I first started watching it, I was watching it only in Japanese because the English subs were not out yet. Um, it was pretty okay. <laughs> I wasn't a huge fan, but I really liked the art style. And so I was compelled to try and paint it. Um, on this first painting, you can see I'm using masking fluid to try and block out the areas that I want to stay bright white, like the white of the paper. But uh, it wasn't working so well, so I went to a masking fluid pen that I got at the art store to mark those areas in. It's my first time using both of those, and it was a challenge. A fun challenge, though. dry it off with the blow dryer and now we're getting the paints ready. These are Gansai Tambi watercolor paints. They are Japanese watercolor paints. They are non-toxic I believe and the pigments are they're a bit different from American. I don't know if they're the paints that you are American but from other watercolors. Um, the pigment's very sticky and so the way that I've seen it used on other YouTube channels is that you put water in these little containers, then you mix up the pigment with the brush, and then you pour that water pigment mixture into the flower shaped palette. And that is how you paint with it. And a lot of the Japanese channels that I've watched don't really mix the colors because when you try to mix them, they get really uh, desaturated. But you can usually mix about one, uh, two or three shades and still have a pretty vibrant color. So since this piece is mostly in blue, I, I only really had to struggle mixing the uh, aqua blue kind of color because I didn't have that. But other than that, I didn't really mix that much, I think. <laughs> the color mixture trying to get that aqua blue it doesn't look too bad on camera but in person it seemed really desaturated it wasn't the vibrant vibrant aqua blue that I wanted so I'm just farting around with it trying to see how I could bring back some of the vibrancy of the blues it didn't work but <laughs> it was fun trying <laughs> It's more like a seafoam green. It never became the aqua blue that I wanted. So I tried mixing just on the paper, mixing in the palette, you know, tried a few different things. But um, I think in the end, I decided to try putting down white on the paper and then putting the blues that I wanted. Um, it wasn't super successful, but I did not completely hate how it turned out, so sort of win, small win, let's, let's count it as a win because you know, we need wins. about using the uh, these Gansai Tanbi watercolors is because you can get so much pigment on the brush at once you can kind of like just drop a bunch of pigment on the paper and let it dry and get these cool like edges on it I don't know what it's called I have not studied watercolor painting anywhere so I'm just you know doing whatever I like here I'm taking off the uh, masking masking stuff rubbery stuff 
to reveal the white that I want it to leave behind. This is kind of my favorite part. From here, it's all just detail work, adding in darker darks to the water. is it for my first study from The Great Pretender. Next up is a scene, I think the only fourth or fifth episode, I'm not sure, but it has the one thing that I cannot draw in it very well, buildings. So, you know, that was fun. Recently, I've been trying to like sketch out parts of the painting in the color pencil that I'll be painting like the same color that I'll be painting with later. I don't know if I like that process so much yet, but you know, you just fart around with the sketchbook. You don't have to be so serious about it, I think. I'm trying not to be, at least. For this painting, I only used the uh, masking fluid pen because um, I wasn't really happy with the way the, the other masking fluid was working. But actually, the masking pen tears up the paper, so I'm, I'm going to probably try using the white one again later. I missed a bit of video because my camera was being weird and dying and stuff so uh, sorry about that but it was probably not that interesting just trying to layer in the right shades of blue on the water and the buildings and then finding nice color choices trying to match the colors of the buildings and the um, 
screenshot, but some of the colors I just didn't have. I think there was like some hot pink in there. There's no way I can make hot pink from the colors that I have. Um, I did buy some hot pink though. So I'm, I'm gonna, I'm looking forward to trying this again with some of the new paints that I got. taking off the masking fluid. For this uh, piece, I really like how the masking fluid worked because the clouds look so crisp and so nice. picked up some Posca markers to help with adding in the white in the water because I forgot to add the masking fluid there and from here on out it's a lot of mixing between the Posca markers, uh, color pencils, and the watercolor. Oh yeah I tried to use some gouache too but that did not work very well. You can see it looks just too opaque compared to the uh, to the Gansai Town Bee watercolors. second piece. Um, I think I added a bit more color pencil work to this after the fact, but yeah, I don't mind how it came out despite being terrible at buildings. So here's a little bonus painting. Um, this is a few days later. I decided to retry the first background painting, but with um, some new colors that I got. I got an aqua blue. I got some more yellows. A really hot pink there's the new aqua blue and I wanted to see if I could get a better blending in the water uh, but I'm using a different sketchbook the paper is not for watercolor necessary I think it's I think it's for mixed media so the paper does not react as kindly when you're trying to you know do washes but I think this one went okay I think I also used a lot of gouache painting so yeah it was a nice experiment and I think I learned a lot and I'm probably going to stop talking. So if you liked this little paint with me, uh, don't forget to hit the like button. I will be making more paint with me videos and more art content. So please consider subscribing. I will also be doing more travel stuff. It'll be a mix of travel, art, heavier on the art, I think, because we are in COVID times and I'm at home a lot. But I also really like this painting, so yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye!